Hi, welcome back to my Brackish Aquarium. So, as you can see, I got everybody in there. Uh, I have the barnacles in there. And uh, that old oyster shell with the seagrass on is really pretty. Watching it flows, uh, very relaxing. I'm sitting here for about 15, 20 minutes, just really, really enjoying the, that uh, very lush green color in the the waving back and forth obviously as you can see everybody loves it uh, we've got one of the larger crabs on there I believe it's a mangrove crab on the uh, little one you can see a real tiny tiny crab that's the largest of the conchs uh, right in front of you there uh, he's cruising down the shell you can also see uh, few of the uh, gobies uh, enjoying uh, all the different uh, creatures that live on the barnacles uh, they're having a field day uh, eating everything off of uh, the barnacles right now uh, the pipefish uh, the two males and the female uh, both grazed through, through here extensively and they've had their fill I think they've gone to sleep somewhere uh, they're full uh, so now the uh, everyone else is kind of rolling in uh, you'll see the uh, eyebrow barnacle uh, Blenny come through here every now and then. Uh, he's looking for a new barnacle to live in. Uh, I've got quite a few of them in here. He he likes to sleep in these barnacles. Uh, I believe that's where he gets his name from. But as you can see, there's a nice big flounder on the glass too. They're doing really well. Um, you know, I've been asked uh, already in your comments... Uh, uh, maybe I should get some sand for these uh, flounder and I thought about that uh, but this is the you know pretty much the rock that I catch them in and if you do look around they, they do a pretty good job at sinking in there <laughs> they lower themselves down in that rock pretty good uh, they wave their little uh, body and hide themselves pretty good when they want to they just seem to like them on the glass I guess uh, nothing like that in nature and they, they seem to enjoy it um, there's a few tiny shrimp that got in with the, uh, you know, my haul and, uh, you know, the pipefish and the, the gobies and, uh, the blennies, they've already eaten them all up. Uh, the larger ones seem to last and they do a great job cleaning everything in the tank. Uh, I've had a few of them uh, have eggs, but you know, they don't last long. Everything eats them right off. But, uh, the... As you can see that, you know, everyone likes to eat that seagrass there. And uh, it sure is really pretty, isn't it? Um, I don't know how long it'll last. Uh, I've put seagrass in here before and everyone eats it really quickly. But it really is groovy. And uh, so are the uh, barnacles. I like watching their little uh, wings come out as they uh, catch the particles in the air. They're pretty neat. Very rhythmic and relaxing especially with the waving of the uh, green grass but all in all it's coming along the tank uh, I really like it I'm having a lot of fun um, this time of year where I live it's beautiful out it was in the high 80s uh, the, wa the water was very warm um, there's the uh, barnacle plenty right there isn't he cool he is just the neatest thing Hey guy, how you doing? But he's really happy I got these barnacles in there. Uh, he eats uh, pretty much everything off these barnacles. You can see him just hoovering um, when he gets uh, down in on them. And then he goes in and out of the little empty barnacle uh, shells and uh, cruises around. He really likes it, and, and he's a really cool fish. Uh, like I said, I have two of them in there I didn't even know. He's the smaller of the two, but they're pretty much about the same size. And uh, he'll eat tropical flakes. He really likes shrimp pellets. He goes crazy over those. All the gobies and the blennies do. Uh, shrimp pellets seem to be about their favorite thing. Um, other than that, you know, I, I, I'm digging it. I think it's really cool. 
Um, let me know what you think. Let me know, uh, you know. Do I have too many fish in there? Yeah. Do I have too many different species in there? Most likely. But it's pretty cool, and, and everyone's living. Uh, like I said, I got rid of a lot of the mosquito fish. So, uh, you know, everybody's pretty happy. I don't see any overcrowding problems yet. Um, I mean, I'm not taking nitrogen levels or anything and, and doing testing or adding any uh, chemicals. Um, the only fish I've had die so far is because the mosquito fish were just eating absolutely everything in the tank. And uh, if I kept adding more food, it was just going to destroy the water. So now everybody should be a little bit happier. There's a little bit water, more water flow going on underneath the rock and the coral and through the coral. And uh, I've started to learn where to get the food to feed them. Um, although they are eating the tropical flakes and the uh, shrimp pellets, it's nice to see them eat their, you know, their native food of the, uh, you know, the barnacles and the little worms and the tiny snails and crabs and everything I get and the shrimps. And it's a lot of fun, you know, walking down the river, especially this time of year. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this, because I do. And uh, I'll leave you with a couple of minutes of uh, the tank. And uh, like I said, let me know what you think of how everything's going. There is a lot of life in there. It is really interesting. Enjoy.